Hello friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop series. In this particular video, I'll be showing you how I created this flyer in Photoshop. Alright, if you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to subscribe so you won't miss any of the content I'll be dropping after this time on. Without having to say much, let's jump right into it. So the first thing I'd like to do is click on File, click on New, and I'm just going to make a few changes here. So um, where it says untitled, I'm just going to put in the name of this particular flyer. So it's a social media flyer. Alright, so I'm just going to put this there. So I'm using a 4x5, right? And um, everything stays the same resolution. I'm just going to click create like this. Okay, so when you do that the right way, um, this is the color code I'm using for my background. So I'm just going to copy it and click on adjustment layer click on solid color like this and i'm just going to paste it here ctrl v to paste it and click ok so now that we have the base color for the background um let's get started so this is the color right you're free to copy this click ok i'll go over to my resource file of course check the description of this video to get resource files so i'm going to bring this in and i'm going to make it mm, break this down like this and um, click enter right so i'm going to sample a color from the image right which is this color and um, this is the color right so you can copy this also and use so the next thing i want to do is click on gradients click on this and um, click on this particular one so it should be blue to white right the foreground color is the blue color and my background is white so when you do that um, okay so before you start applying that gradient click on this and um, make a selection here so I'm just clicking click click here again and um, click this is not perfect but you can make yours perfect right so when you click it um, bring the layer downwards like this right and um, G to apply to select your gradient and apply like this right so when you have done that ctrl D to deselect right so this is what you have now what you want to do is convert this to a smart object and um, the next thing you should do is um, I'm going to apply some blur to it. So uh, before I do that, I'm just going to, or let me just do that straight away. I'll go to blur and um, apply Gaussian blur, right? So I'm just going to increase my blur size. You can see how much difference this has made with the image, right? So this is the first step, right? Just move it up just so slightly like this. All right, click on this and uh, move this up slightly also ctrl j to make a copy of it that's a duplicate copy of it and um, when you do that bring this downwards right make sure you note that and um, press ctrl t on your keyboard right click and click on flip vertical right this flips the image upside down like this so you want to bring this down here and um, click enter now we want to create a transparent effect so what you want to do is before anything create a mask for it right make sure your fo your uh, foreground color is set to black select your brush and um, of course just double on this part until you can no longer see every other part and you have this effect created create a new layer here right directly underneath the first image click here select this color right click ok now what you want to do is apply a shadow select your brush but then i'm going to change the position of this brush like this and i'm just going to apply some base shadow for this particular perfume right so I would play with my opacity so it's not too much and um, add some extra, make my brush smaller and add some extra shadows along these areas like this. Okay, good. 
um, now that that's out of the way, let's um, get more serious. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is bring in some other elements. Like for instance, I took out time to type out this text, but I added the fonts to the design itself, so to the source file. So, um, so we won't have to waste so much time. I actually typed this out, but you can get the font in the description of the video right so i'm just going to hide this and move this upward so slightly i'm going to go over bringing some elements to add more um, aesthetics to this design all right so i'm starting with this i'm just going to bring it somewhere down here nice flower most times when you're creating a product flyer it's just um, very very important that you are close to nature right so it makes your design feel more lively so i'm going to create a clipping mask for here on saturation i'm going to click on colorize and i'm going to bump my saturation up onto this point you can experiment but this is a setting that's perfect for mine you can turn this down and bring this up just make sure the blue matches with what you have in your component already right so i might just decide to use this so you can copy my settings select this select this and um, select this hold down sh um, shift but before i do that i'll go to filter and um, apply some gaussian blur to it to create that um yes so I need my focus on the product itself and not this flower. So I'm going to create a blur effect for the flower. So hold down shift, select this tool and click on group or press ctrl G. I'm just going to name this flower one. Of course, I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this. Immediately, I'm going to change this to flower two like this. Okay. So for flower 2, I'm just going to drag it to this point here. Um, I'm going to do some rotating. Like this. Okay. So it's important you get the position or direction. Position in all the direction. So I'm just going to flip this to what feels like the perfect position for it to be. I'm going to click enter like this. But for this one, I um, like to do things differently. Click on the Gaussian Blur. You know, we had added it to the first one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bump up the radius just a bit like this. All right. And I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to close this up. So I have flower one and we have flower two. Right, I would add some other changes to it, but for now, I think I'm okay with this. So I'm just gonna drag my text to the top most parts, and um, let's see, let's see, something is missing. Right, okay. So um, let me go back to my resource file. It's time to bring this guy in. So I'm just gonna drag here and bring it in now note the position i brought this in inside of the layer so you don't bring it in at the wrong place or you don't position it where it's not supposed to be is good so i'm just going to move this here a couple of things i want to do with this i'll create a mask for it go over to my brush i'm going to change the positioning of my brush and uh of course make sure your foreground color is set to black and uh, your mask is white so just gently double on this like this not too much so what you want to do with this is because we want to blend colors well go to here and saturation and create a clipping mask for that particular image click on colorize and this is where the magic happens increase your saturation like this as you can see it's blending into what we have so this is a perfect example of how you can quickly blend images inside of photoshop 
right so what you want to do is click on this i'm just going to adjust uh, manually and um, when i get the value of what i need i'm just going to um, let's see i like what i'm seeing so but i'm going to reduce change this one to screen right change this to screen and i'm just going to i think this is fair add some blood to it all right add some blow make sure it's not too much because i need that bouquet effect right click ok like this uh no so i'm just going to return this down okay that's where it's supposed to be okay you can see that our design is beginning to take shape but putting our text there it's kind of covering so i would reduce the opacity for this good so it's there but then it's giving room to the text to be visible i don't know if you get what I, what I mean by that right so um the next thing you want to do is that i'm just reduce this um furthermore okay good it's very important that as a graphic designer um your screen is the rgb of your screen is um at least uh, well over 90 even though you don't have 100 very important right so that you're seeing colors as they are and maybe when you want to send it to your phone or send it for media you can be rest assured that you'll be expecting the same color you designed with so i'm just going to be adding this to this part here all right for this one i'm going to create a curve like this adjustment I'm going to take this up or you can see it's affecting the whole image i don't want that so click on the mask press ctrl i to invert it go over to your brush and um, i'm just going to review where i want that light to hit so since you're working on a black make sure you invert to white so those areas i'm going to do the same thing too for this guy here so curves increase it bump it up bump it up don't be scared bump it up um sorry 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 this is not what i'm working on i'm working on this right you can see how it's very very important for you to group your layers and um, arrange your layers as well so you'll be able to understand and quickly make adjustments to places you need to make adjustment to right okay so now that that's out of the way uh make a snapshot Control alt shift plus e right click and convert to smart objects now this is where the second action takes place go to camera raw I want to balance off this whole image right so the first thing i like to do here is i will reduce the temperature i'll tilt towards the blue right next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add some da's now the haze comes in handy it makes um, your design feel premium kind of but you have to be cautious when you are using your da's add some clarity and um, add some vibrance just little things that count here i'll just add some highlights and when you're done click ok no so let me quickly show you the before and after this is before and this is after you can see how camera raw filter can just change the dynamics of your design all right guys if you've loved this video i would really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and drop your comments so youtube will recommend this video to other persons on this platform till then i'll see you in the next video just up